Magnus wrote melodies for me, uh, about me, and then I arranged my own portrait for the orchestra in the same. Um, I've composed something in mind for my friendship with Magnus, and he arranged and orchestrated that piece. And then the third movement, we actually sat together and, and wrote together uh, when we were in, in Stuttgart. So we call it the third part of the, the portrait, we call it dialogue. So yes. we really go into each other's work. Yeah. What's also very exciting with this concert that we have this very special vocal guest, Michael Mayo. Yes. Amazing vocal artist, jazz vocal. I mean, mm -hmm. you have to hear, hear him. Michael is a former fellow of the Herbie Hancock Institute of Jazz. That's where I met him. But he's very uh, contemporary. He sings beautiful melodies, but he also uh, uses rhythm. Uh, and actually, we're all gonna sort of beatbox. Um, we don't have a drummer, per se, for this concert, so we're all gonna be filling in that role. Um, it's very much with these concerts, it's about rhythmical challenges, um, which is very exciting, and also feel that we are trying new things. Mm -hmm. I think the orchestra appreciates that, because uh, you know, it's, it's a contemporary, contemporary concert. There's yeah. improvising between us yeah. and, and with Michael as well, um, but all in structure of contemporary classical music. The symphony orchestra is playing most of the concert, but it's still a jazz concert, so mm -hmm. of course we don't know what's going to happen. And that's always what right. we, we always want to have that when we, yeah. everything that we have done is, yeah. uh, I mean, when we met our big um, inspiration, Wayne Shorter, he had this quote like, see what happens right. that's like a guideline for us even in this big project yeah. you know. we both like uh, uh, to be so-called on the high wire like a trapeze this is something we both really enjoy doing it and now we'll have the whole royal stockholm philharmonic orchestra on the high wire